is good, Grey Gang? We're here today. We're about to do a bass fishing challenge, a virtual collab, if you will. And we're doing it with no other than Braden Price. Now, a couple days ago, Braden hit me up and he's like, Hey, dude, do you like want to do like a 1v1 bass fishing tournament, kind of? And I was like, yeah, bro, let's do it. I said under one condition. And that is that we weigh the fish on the official tournament KG fishing scale. And he agreed, so here we go. Now, I'm going to be getting this one right here. We're going to go ahead and set it up. It comes with two batteries, so, well, yeah, you don't really have to go out and buy batteries. Just put those in there, and we're about to be fishing. And so, you know, I told him I'd send him out a scale, and he's like, okay, whenever you sent that, just, like, put a letter in there that, you know, explain the rule. And I didn't say this to him, but in my mind, I was like, whoa, 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 wait a minute. Did you just say I get to make the rules? And I didn't ask him because I didn't want him to say no. So I took it that I made the rules. And just like any good rule or lawmaker knows, if you're going to make the rules, you got to put some loopholes in them that you can exploit. And that is exactly what I did. I made it simple. I knew what Braden was wanting to do. And I made the rules to where he can do that. And I can go off somewhere else and be real sneaky and do something outside what he was thinking. So, you know, I was thinking he's just going to go out, fish one time, try to catch five bass, weigh them, and then go like that. Me, on the other hand, I had a different idea. The first rule, and it's kind of not even a rule. It just explains the tournament. The combined weight of the five biggest fish wins. Pretty simple, right? The second rule, the fish must be a bass. The third rule, they have to be weighed on the official KG scale. Now, you may be thinking, I don't really know how you're going to fit that in there. It kind of looks normal to me. Yeah, well, I put a few loopholes in there, and I definitely plan to lose them. One, we're going to fish about three days for this sucker. And two, I didn't say I had to catch them. Did I? I don't, I don't think I did. But anyways, guys, let's go ahead and open up what we're going to be fishing with. Now, you best believe I was about to say the five biggest fish wins and just leave it at that and then go catfishing. But then he said, bass, of course. And I was like, ah, he got me. Now, even after being the lawmaker who made rules specifically to meet my needs, do I think I'm going to win? Honestly, guys, I don't. I, even if, even if I fish for like five days with ten different people, I don't know if I can get a hold of big bass at ponds. I mean, yeah, I can catch fish at ponds, but like all the ponds I can go to literally have the same size fish. But I'm going to try to throw a few Hail Marys because I got plenty of time because, you know, I made the rules to where I can fish for a week if I need to. But without further ado, let's go ahead and crack open. We're, of course, we're using the mystery tackle box. This one's for July because, you know, it's kind of July. These are the baits. Oh, it's a duck. Now, I can tell you, if we catch a fish on this... He gonna be a good. That's really important. I think we're gonna probably gonna fish with that today. We have a three quarter ounce spinner bait, really good, also for big fish. Then looks like here we have some four inch lizards. That's good if we come up and we just can't catch fish. Then on down in here we have another soft plastic. Oh, that's a, that's like a little perfect drop shot bait. Really good if we can't catch fish again. Then maybe we have a popper. Yeah, dude, we're looking pretty good. And then these must add little stand-up heads. We're looking pretty good, guys. Then we have a sticker and a scratch-off. I'm not going to do that because I don't gamble. But anyways, guys, we're going to head out to the first pond today. Probably, most likely, head out somewhere else tomorrow. I'm going to be alone today, but I'm going to use this. So The pond I'm going to right now is kind of a Hail Mary type pond. It's really a hit or miss, but if you hit, you got a pretty good bass, man. Now, fun fact about this pond, I catch a bass about roughly 3 to 4% of the time I fish it. Yep, the odds are not in my favor, but I don't really know what else to do. But in that 3 to 4%, I can get one that's usually at least 2 pounds. And they usually only bite whenever a front's coming through. Which one is today? The sun's still a little high. It's about 5 o'clock even right now, so not the perfect time to come out here and be fishing. I may come out here and try it later in the evening, but we're just going to sling a few casts right here. Try if we can't see if we can't get some just sitting off the bank a little bit. Get a hungry bass just waiting to eat something like a duck. There's not even there's only been one duck in this pond in its entire lifetime. I don't know, guys. This is this is what I was talking about the Hail Mary. The odds are I won't catch a bass, but if I do, he's gonna be a stinking monster, okay? But if you're wondering a little bit more about Mystery Tackle Box, which is actually the thing I got this uh, duck out of, what that is, is it's like a subscription based company. You pay so much every month and they send you that box. It's full of baits, and the baits are, you know, geared toward the time you're fishing. Like this one, it's July. They gave me, like, basically a topwater frog. Really good in summer, really good in July. They're, they're not gonna send you a bait that's made for, like, ice fishing in the middle of summer. They're really good about that too also you can cancel at any time if you know you get a box and you're like i don't know if i really want to do this you can just cancel no problem quick and easy they don't care they're not gonna get mad at you 
one thing about Mystery Tackle Box is if you are interested, I can actually help you out. If you use promo code GRAYGANG at checkout, it'll actually get you a pretty good discount off of it. That way you can test out your first box to see if you like it at a very, very discounted price. I'm going to cast out here for about five more minutes because usually if a bass is going to bite in this pond, it's it's going to happen pretty quick. There ain't much fishing about it. There's this one guy. His name was Jerry. He set out here for 148 hours straight. Never caught a fish until a turtle came up and ate him. It was crazy, guys. I don't think these bass are hungry. I don't even know if there's still bass in this pond. That's the sad part, guys. I've not caught a bass in like, well, since Christmas last year. <sighs> it's been a while, guys. It's been a while. Maybe making the rules just so that I could find a way around them wasn't such a good idea. Okay, guys, as you can see, we're at a new pond this time. It's actually the next day. Also, <laughs> instead of going straight for the duck, I think I'm actually going to try something different. So I'm going to pull in here to the KG Fishing Fanny Pack, and I want to go with something small, okay? I want to get about three three bass weighed in and counted before I actually start going for big ones. Because if I just fish the frog, chances are I'm not going to catch five fish that big. I'm going to have to catch some smaller ones first. So it looks like I can really go with these two. I just want some small fish. I'm actually going to go with this one. Maybe even Wacky Rig it. I'm not sure. We'll put those back. Pull one of these off. I brought a spinning reel with just a Wacky Hook on it. So, yeah, that's what we're going to be doing. I'm going to go ahead and pull out one of these. What? A uh, some Mattis Baits. Seems like a pretty cool little thing. Would be amazing on a drop shot, but I, I may just nose rig it. Work it like a little flute. I mean, it should work. It's just it's just a little worm with a hook in it. I'm gonna go toss this around some brush piles or something. Hopefully a little bass will eat it. If we catch a bass, I'm gonna come up here, wait with the KG skill. We'll do it with this camera so you can see it good. And anyways, guys, here I go. I ain't trying to waste no time. I've only got about a day left in the challenge. Alrighty, here we go. Before I get too close to the bank, I'm just gonna toss this thing right there on the bank. That way, if there's a fish right there where I'm standing, we can catch him before I walk up there and spook him off. That's really important, especially with bank fishing. I don't believe there's anything there, so I'm clear to walk on in now. I really hope these bass want to eat today. Because if not, I may be in trouble. Oh, there he is. Yes, got it. Yes. Oh, no, you're kidding me. You're stinking kidding me, man. I needed that fish. I needed, like, I actually needed that fish. This isn't just a fishing video, dude. This is a stinking tournament. I needed him. He was taking drag and everything. Whew, kind of a bummer. Oh, 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 yes, yes, yes. Oh, 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 yes, baby. He is indeed a bass. He may not even register on the scale, but son, I tell you, he's a bass, and I am I am going to weigh him. If you think I'm about to toss this guy back in, you you be messing with yourself. I'm going to take this fish off the hook, and I'm going to weigh him. Okay, so we're actually going to do it in kilograms right now. I forgot the sheet, and... <laughs> I kind of forgot how to change it over. We have 0 0.00 kilograms. Okay, I think that's wrong. 0 0.03 kilograms. Okay, that'll work. As for this fish, I just yeeted him back into the pond from about 30 feet, but he's fine because, you know, he was about this big, going a little bit fast. He didn't have much energy, guys. He can't hurt himself that much. It's like dropping an ant. He's going to be perfectly fine. He has no mass to hurt. I'm going to go ahead and get that same bait out, try to catch a few more. Hopefully, I can get that one that I started off with. He was pretty good size. He's probably about a pound. Here we go, using that same bait. I didn't lose it. Oh, there he is. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah, baby. Let's get him up on the bank. Let's go weigh his sucker. He's not huge. He's pretty good, though. That was like my first cast after this little one. So, uh, yeah, I think the bass may be biting pretty decent today. It's a pretty good sign. He hit it very aggressively, too. Very, very aggressive. Oh, come on now, son. Please don't break my thumb. Appreciate it. Ow. Your teeth are so sharp. That means you've been feeding them. But, ah! I've never had this happen with a stinking bass before. But his teeth are straight tearing me up. Gosh, dude, that hurts. There you go. His teeth are sharp, man. That means he's been feeding on bait fish, so a little minnow looking bait's perfect for it. Okay, guys, we're on the bass number two. He's not a monster, but he definitely performed like he was, and that's really all that matters. Let's see, we're now we're in pounds, so we can actually weigh in with United States measurements. 0.33 pounds. <sighs> Unfortunately, I think that's pretty accurate. He's a tiny fish. He's kind of thin, but I'm going to toss this guy back in. We're going to keep on doing the same thing, guys. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. And I don't even know how to fix it, so I'm just going to hope it ain't broke. There he is. Again, not a big bass, but I don't care, okay? I'm weighing this sucker in. He is not a big bass at all. My goodness, he's probably... He's barely smaller than the first one, dude. He's so tiny, and he's so energetic. Look, he's still flopping. Third bass of the day. Not much bigger than the first. Hopefully, he'll add to our five bass limit. All right, here we go. Point... 
oh nine pounds ah that kind of hurts but hopefully we can cool by the end of the day goodness guys 0.09 pounds that kind of hurts i'm not gonna lie to you guys that kind of hurts a little bit get in there jimmy goodness every bass i catch anymore is named timmy we catch any more like him we're gonna have to move ponds dude because that ain't gonna win nowhere unless Braden literally doesn't catch a fish i'm not gonna win with those because if he can catch one decent fish, he's he's outweighed all of my fish so far. None of my fish have been over like a quarter pound. Oh, one's on it. There he is. Oh, good one, good one, good one. Oh, that's probably the best one so far, and he's still not over half a pound. Now, this one may actually reach a pound. He seems pretty. He may be a pound. I don't know. It might be close. I'm not good at guessing fish's weights, obviously. I thought the first one would have been like three. What's up with all these fish jumping off, dude? Why, why do they keep jumping off? And why do they keep jumping on land? Who do they think they are? They are not Aquaman. They do not walk on land and swim. You're only a fish. You can only do one. Fish number four, still extremely small. He is a total of 0 0.26 pounds. Barely over a quarter pound. This ain't looking good, guys, and there's a lot of them this size in this pond. Yes, it's really been four weeks, guys. It is one month later, and let me tell you guys, I knew whenever I made those rules, I could exploit them, and that time, oh gosh. And the period of time was the best loophole I've ever made in my life. So far on this challenge, I've been fishing um, two different ponds, three different days, all a month apart. That's the best part, guys. Now, unfortunately, today is the last day of the challenge for me because, well, I actually have to post this video tomorrow, which is tomorrow is Thursday. Today's Wednesday. Yeah, kind of got to, you know, kind of got to get to work. But I decided, you know what? I think I can do a little bit better than four fish for 0 0.74 pounds. Okay, I think I can at least break a pound. I don't know what you... I got like 15 minutes to fish, though. I brung the duck, okay? I, this, this is not a joke. This is not a joke anymore. It never was. It never was a joke. But anyways, guys, I don't know about you, but last last time I was here, which was a month ago, so, you know, probably a lot to change, but I missed a really good fish right over there next to that brush pile on that frog. So you best you best believe I'm gonna be heading over there and I'm gonna be throwing that frog into it. I got the GoPro strapped on. This is my last chance. Can KG break one pound with five fish? Or is he still gonna be sub one? I don't know, let's see. I'm just saying guys, if I can't if I can't get over a pound with five fish, I don't even know guys. I may just delete my channel. But I'm not gonna try to get too close to the water just because I don't know, ticks are really bad in the area this year, and that does not look like something I want to walk through. So, we're just going to cast from here. There we go, big Mondo cast for Mondo bass. Twitch, 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 twitch. All right, impact coming pretty soon. I can done feel it. Twitch, 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 impact. I don't know. Maybe they ain't biting. This is crazy though, dude. The bad part is that I didn't even know that I only had 0 0.74 pounds until I went back and edited the footage. I mean, I was like, oh yeah, maybe I have three. No, I don't even have I don't even have three quarters of pounds. The other sad part is that none of my fish would have actually been legal tournament fish if I had set the rule they had to be 12 inches. But I knew what I was capable of. I knew I probably wasn't gonna catch big fish. So I made the rules in my favor. Am I gonna win? Probably not. We only need one fish to fulfill our five fish limit. Five by three. Yeah, right, it's been three weeks, buddy. Well, boys, as much as I hate to say it, I think we're about to end this tournament with four fish going for 0 0.74 pounds. Nice. Looks like Brayden has a pretty easy dub on this one. Anyways, guys, I don't really know. I don't think I don't I don't think we're gonna post them at the same time. But anyways, Brayden, if you're watching this, here's my challenge. Um, I tried my best. Better luck next time, I guess. And uh, this is just a little message to you. Have fun catching one fish and beating me. Okay, well, I'm done. I quit. No, I don't quit. Let me finish this cast. Okay, now I quit. Don't forget to smash that like button and that subscribe button. And if you haven't already, make sure you watch all of Kendall Gray's videos. He's awesome. Number one God.